What is going on YouTube? It's Dirt Track Dave here again with another informative dirt late model tech tip video. Today we're going to be talking about damaged front suspension. When you take a shot and you have damage, it may not be noticeable damage, but we're going to talk about what to check for and the tools to use to check it. But before that, if you're not a subscriber, I would be glad to have you. So hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That way you can keep up with all the future videos that I may put out. Also, give this video a like, that way I know you're enjoying the content. But without further ado, let's get into some damaged front suspension. So this is one of the reasons it's very important to look over your car and check for cracks you know, in your welds and in between your bars and all your suspension components. So check this out. We got this big crack right here in the lower part of the spindle, the lower ball joint area. The lower ball joint goes in through here, but took a shot and we noticed we had some toe out. We got this right here. Crack. Here's a close up of the bottom of the spindle, and you can see here that crack. It's just a hairline fracture in the powder coating, but it's right where the the bottom of the spindle, where the lower ball joint goes through the spindle. Now this is from the bottom. This, you, so you'd have to get under the car and look up to see this crack. And where I've got the red line drawn is where it actually cracked to once I peeled the powder coating away. So luckily it wasn't a rough track. And we didn't, you know, if it was rough, it probably would have broke completely out. But it was smooth track, it was just from contact. Here's the side view. This is the, the back side that faces the shock. And you can see right here that it cracked all the way around that bung and down where them two pieces of plate come together that formed a spindle. And it was not a major crack, you know, but still you wouldn't want to run this, obviously. But, you know... Uh, hits like that don't seem that hard when it's just a little bit of left front contact you know because this is a left front spindle but it takes very little and if we'd have run this again it would have you know probably come off and shot us into the wall all right now in order to check the spindle you need one of these which is called a spindle checker nothing complicated to it it's just two ball joint looking pieces they go on each end with a rod that slides through and what you're doing is you're trying to see if one of these is bent this way or, or wherever you know it may be bent to make sure that this axis where these ball joints go is a true axis and not one going this way and another going straight for example. Now to check your spindle you need to run the rod through each end making sure it slides in nice and smooth. With some spindles even brand new ones they may end up hitting like on the side just a little bit or be a little tight. When you bend one they'll be way off. Like you'll slide it through here and it'll be hitting up here. And when that happens, you lose consistency in your caster because it's no longer swinging at a consistent arc around this axis right here if you was to draw a straight line. So let's give an example here. Nice and smooth, just what you want. One of the easiest ways to check your ball joints is what's called spinning the ball joint. You take your nut, spin it on, take an impact, and just spin it. So as you can tell, that one's not bent. And then to remove it, just bind itself against the housing a little bit. And there you go. I know sometimes it's easy to overlook little stuff like that, but it's just good practice to check everything. Not everybody has the time to go through the car completely, but just give the main components at least a good look through all the moving components, a good look through and feel and, and check and move, you know, move them through their paces. But you know, something like that can you know take you out of a race, damage your car if it's missed, or you know, if even worse, take you out of races if you know you're a budget racer and you put one in a wall and you got the money to fix it real quick. So, but always take care of your stuff and go through it real well you know replace damaged components is I can't stress that enough but anyway I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of cross member cam um, a cool little video here that I took just to check the cross member on the car and everything but uh, you know if you like this video give it a like subscribe to the channel and uh, as always drive hard take chances 